Hello everyone and welcome. Hello everyone and welcome back. So um, in the last part of the tutorial we kind of went through uh, how to get the leaves to wiggle um, and we're going to be uh, moving on to that in the next episode where we're going to actually get them to move in Stingray. Uh, but before we leave Maya we need to set up um, some blend shapes so that our tree can sway in the breeze, okay? Um, right now, the only thing that would happen, like if we brought this into Stingray and set up the vegetation shader, only the leaves would wiggle, which in many cases might be just fine for most users. Um, but I wanted to give you a little, um, you know, demonstration on how I would handle like larger trees where we want like the tops to kind of sway and kind of gently move in the breeze, right? Because generally speaking, the branches move too, and it's not just the leaves. Um, so this is the way that I would handle managing those movements of the, the larger branches, okay? Um, so that's what we're going to do now. And the way we're going to do that is with a tool called Blend Shapes, okay? And um, so let's just go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're going to need to do is make a couple duplications of our tree. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do four major duplications. I'm going to do one over here, and I'm going to grab another one and go Shift-D to duplicate it again, and I'm just going to kind of move it over to there. And now I'm going to go Shift D, and I'm going to duplicate it to the right. And then I'm going to grab it again and go Shift D, and I'm going to move it again all the way to the right. Okay. So now what these are going to be is this is going to be kind of like my sway far left, sway far right, sway you know forward, sway backward. Okay. So um, the easiest way to do this, if we just tried to do blend shapes and move stuff manually, it's going to be really tricky. Okay. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to put um, what's called a lattice on these. Okay. So if we go into the deform panel, we can go ahead and select lattice, right? And that'll create this lattice work around our object that are going to act like a deformer. Okay. And then inside of our FD1 lattice, we can actually change the divisions. So we're going to go five, five, and five. Okay. So now we have this nice dense grid pattern of um, a lattice work around our object. Okay. And we're going to do that to each one of these. So we're, let's go ahead and do that now. Let's go ahead and say lattice. And we're going to grab this every time. And we're just going to make it five, five, and five. Okay. So that one's done. We're going to leave the middle one alone because that's going to be our actual blend shape. Um, and then we're going to do it to this one, so we can go ahead and go uh, Deform and Lattice. And we can set that to 5, 5, and 5. And we're just going to do this for each one of them, okay? So now we're going to have all of our trees pretty much set up. So Deform and Lattice, and we're going to grab the shape, and we're going to name it 5, 5, and 5, and there we go. Okay, so now we've got all of our little lattice works of our trees done. Now, um, because we just du duplicated off this tree, and since this is getting ready to go in the game, I'm going to start, want to start naming everything appropriately. So I'm going to grab this tree, and as you can see, it's called Tree Main, okay? And that's fine. Um, this one here, I don't want it to be called Tree Main. Um, instead, I'm going to call it Tree Rustle, and I'm just going to give it a number of one, okay? And then this one's going to be Tree Rustle 2. And this one's going to be Tree Rustle 3. It doesn't really matter what they are named or numbered. Um, we just want to have it known that these are the rustle and not the, you know, not the actual uh, main tree, right? So, Rustle 4, okay? So now we've got Tree Rustle 1, 2, 3, and 4, and we have our main tree right in the dead center. Now these guys are just going to be in our way, so let's wipe them out. And now we've got our tree pretty much ready uh, to be deformed, okay? So to do that, um, the easiest way to do this kind of thing, since we're really just looking for an overall sway, uh, what we're going to want to do is turn on soft selection. We're going to grab the lattice itself, and we're going to go grab lattice point, okay, by right-clicking. So when right-clicking on the lattice, we're going to get this choose lattice point. And then once we do that, we can go ahead and grab it. Now you'll notice that we're not really getting much... Um, uh, you know, ah, that's actually kind of okay, but we don't want this trunk to be affected, okay? So you can adjust this to get that kind of feel where you get it just where you want it, um, but you don't want that trunk to really sway. You just want the top branches to kind of move, okay? So we're just going to sway this out until it feels about right. That feels pretty good to me. Um, I'm thinking that that's going to be just fine. Yeah, that's going to be pretty much okay. All right, so now I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to grab my next um, 
lattice and I'm going to go lattice point and I'm going to select my lattice points and I'm going to move it this time towards the back. Okay. And again, I want to try to get that same amount of sway in the tree in each direction. It's not super critical. This is not like something that's going to like make or break it, but you don't want it to be over exaggerated and you don't want it to be under exaggerated. Otherwise you won't really see the effect. So you're trying to get like a nice comfortable, you know, swaying motion from these trees, right? So let's just kind of go with something like that. Um, and then let's grab our last one over here and let's go lattice point and let's grab these guys. And this one's going to go the opposite direction of the one we just did. So I'm thinking something like that's about appropriate. And I'm going to do the last one here and I'm going to go lattice point and I'm going to grab these and I'm going to move this to the right. Okay, so now I've kind of got my four different main sway directions done. And that's really all I'm going to need. Now, if you'd like to, you can go in here and further uh, adjust it. You can grab, oops, I didn't want to grab the points. I just want to grab the lattice points. You know, you could squish it a little bit like it's getting scrunched. You know, if you want to kind of add a little more uh, dynamics to it. But I wouldn't go too nuts like this because you will find that if you go too crazy, it just doesn't look natural anymore. So I would not go too crazy with this stuff, um, but a little bit can't hurt, you know, a little, a little love doesn't, doesn't hurt nothing. So um, let's go ahead and just add a couple of these guys just to give it a little bit. Mm, see that? That's not so good. We don't want to squish that main trunk. We want to be very careful about that. So I'm just going to reduce my radius and just kind of squish in just a few of the leaves there and a few of the leaves here and maybe some of the leaves on top will get a little lift to them. Okay, and I'm just going to grab this last one and I'm just going to give it a little bit more love, just a little squishiness and maybe a little lift on this top branch just to give it a little feeling of lift, right? And I mean, we're, we're talking microscopic little movements. This is not going to affect much. Uh, the main part that you have to worry about is those main sways, okay? Now, once we have that done, you know what? This one really looks over the top. I'm going to reduce this a little bit. So I'm just going to grab these and I'm just going to reduce that amount of sway some. And I think I had this at like 1200 and I'm just going to bring this back just a touch. I just didn't like how much it was moving. It was just a bit over the top. I don't want it to get crazy um, in there. Okay. So now, now that that's kind of done, all we have to do now is create the blend shape. Okay. So to do that, we're just going to grab all of these selectively. So we're just going to grab each tree and we're going to grab our one that we want to affect last. That's really important. It has to be the last one we affect. Okay. Now, once that's done, um, I create a blend shapes panel that I just use for blend shapes. Uh, but if you don't have that, go into windows and um, animation editors and shape editor. Okay. And that'll bring open this blend shape panel here. Okay. Then once we have done that, so long as we've done our selection in the correct order, we can go ahead and go create blend shapes. And now you'll see that we have this blend shape and we have the different um, tree rustles. Now watch this. When we go into here, uh, we can now deselect this and we can jump into here and we can play with these different blend shapes. And you'll see that we're getting a sway to the left and a sway to the back and a sway to the front and a sway to the right. Okay, so we can see those different blends um, all playing and we can even overlap them, which is what we're going to actually end up doing in Stingray is we're going to be kind of pushing these around um, all in different directions and at random velocities so that we get this kind of constant swaying motion out of the tree. Okay, so um, that's basically all we needed to do. And once that's done, um, we're ready to go. So actually, let me just go back into there. I do want to do one thing. I want to rename this uh, this blend shape, and I'm going to call this tree uh, rustling or tree rustle. Okay, and that'll let me know that that's going to do that job. Okay. Now, once that's done, we can just go ahead and go object mode, grab our tree, and go file export selection, and we're just going to drop this into our game ready folder. So let me go to my desktop, and I'm going to go to our vegetation tutorial. And I'm going to go into the art raw and I'm going to go game ready and I'm going to call this tree. Uh, actually, I call this large um, tree. Okay. 
and I'm just going to go ahead and export that. And now we should be pretty much good to go. All right, so that's going to conclude this part of the tutorial. In the next tutorial, we're going to import it into Stingray and make this stuff start to come to life. And I will see you in the next tutorial. Thanks.